Swift Journey with Tuche. This week we are hosting Gigi Datome. Gigi is currently playing for Fenerbahce basketball team in Istanbul, so let's discover his journey here. Welcome, Gigi. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. My Benvenuto. Pleasure. Grazie. <laughs> I would like to start with your journey to Turkey, exactly. You started playing basketball in Sardinia, which is your hometown. Then you had a CNA adventure, then you had an MBA adventure. But it's been a long time in Turkey. So what were you expecting before coming to Turkey? I would like to start from that point. What aspect? Um, I was very curious. Uh, it was a city and a country that draw me a lot um, and I was just uh, curious and interested to um, discover a new place and a new country and um, honestly I like it um, since the really beginning and um, after five years I'm still here so it means that I really like it. Did you face any challenges during this process? It's been a long time, I know that. Yes, but the, the language was a challenge, uh, when, especially when people could not speak English, was like to talk with uh, a wall. Uh, that's why I forced myself to lead, um, learn a little bit of Turkish to, to survive. Is that why you learn Turkish? Because your Turkish is very good, right? <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> you uh, know what, some what, slang what, words, right? What I can say is very good, but I cannot say it a lot. <laughs> Uh, but is um, first of all now after five years it's also a shame if I don't speak a little uh, of Turkish. But uh, I started because of this because I wanted to say whatever I wanted to say in any situation. I think you are traveling around Istanbul a lot, right? So where have you visited recently in Istanbul? Uh, they asked me also this in a recent interview, and they say that my um, uh, will and desire to discover new things is uh, strictly uh, connected to the winning percentage <laughs> so uh, it's not been the best season let's say uh, this one so really i'm taking care of my body resting and also staying home a lot of time uh, but um, for sure there is a lot of things that still i have to see not only in istanbul because turkey is really there is offers a lot offers a lot have you ever have a chance to travel out of istanbul except the games uh, in the past years, yes. Um, only Where places I went, yes, I went okay. Um, Cheshme, Alachat, and um, in Cappadocia. I visited mm -hmm. Cappadocia, it was very nice. You also uh, wrote a book named Gioco Comesona. I very hope I pronounced it well. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, which means uh, I play as I am, right? So, yes. uh, how would you describe the way you play? Huh. Uh, I try to do the, the right thing on the court. Um, after a lot of years, I try to try to be the most complete guy, not guy player on the court, in order to help the team uh, in all the many way that I can help. Um, and our level, our team, most important thing is to do the right decision, the right moment, to take a shot, to make a pass, to read the defense, uh, talk with your teammates, collaborate with your team. So. This is what I, I try to do, and uh, this is the goal every time. When will it be available in Turkey? You announced that it will be translated in Turkish, right? Very I soon. mean, the book. Very uh -huh. soon, uh, it's, it's ready. I don't know when it will be published. I think um, not, not uh, after March. I think in March, if not sooner. I saw a video you were drawing, like you were painting some black and white. Ah, yes, uh -huh. that was just drawing, yes. At home, at home I had. Um, I tried this. We are curious about your art side. No, I know there is a lot of interest in this, but I'm not. Uh, I like to. I'm a very curious guy, and I like to know everything that I am interested in, and I, I don't know. That's why I go to visit exhibitions, but I wish I had more uh, culture and knowledge about this. I'm just interested. And uh, the drawing thing is nothing uh, started spontaneously in uh, one uh, boring night, maybe. And uh, uh, I had a very big white wall at home, looked empty, and I started drawing this. But again, it's not talent. I just uh, draw it in... Um, I don't know it's how to say in English. I square a paper, I make bigger square on the wall, so that I just need time and patience. It's not freehand or talent. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's not. After my previous interviews with Tibor Pleist and Vladimir Stimac, I realized lots of interesting basketball rituals that uh, basketball players do before the game. So I'm curious about yours. <laughs> There is uh, one entire chapter in the book about uh, routine. Could you please give a little spoiler for uh, us? 
no, there, there is two things, I think, that's what I think. Something to be ready if, to, your, to your body, so of course, sleep well, eat well, prepare your body stretching, uh, warm up and stuff. And then some also mental uh, routine that just make you feel comfortable in the game. And uh, I don't know, wearing the same kind of shoes going to the game or uh, saying uh, certain things for lunch with uh, Costas. Costa is also very <laughs> superstitious about that. Uh, but really, you eat the uh, same food before the games? Or? Yes, but this is not because mental, because I know that I need certain kind of carbohydrates and protein, and this makes me feel good during the game. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it, they're like a mental button that you, you push them from the morning until the game, and you know that everything is in order to feel good on the game and then of course unfortunately you can play bad but at least you you feel good let's talk about the season then we can't say that these were the best days of Fenerbahce but you're now back and you mm, took a higher place at the Euroleague standing so which means you still have a chance for the Euroleague playoffs so how would you consider this season and what was missing at the beginning and what what's completed now mm. Yes, for sure, we're in better position now. Uh, I think our shape is better. We had some uh, injury problem or some players coming from World Championship and didn't rest at all, couldn't take care of the body. And now I think we are getting the shape of the team look better. And uh, wins also help, help you to feel better, to give you more confidence in uh, the work that you're putting in. Because we all, I think we always work very good in practice, uh, but when you work good and you don't win, it's kind of frustrating. Now it, wins are coming back and so also shape and confidence of the players and hopefully going to be better and better. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a huge respect to you. Exactly, you are the hero of kids, I think. Fenerbahce fans, right? They love you so much. So, And Fenerbahce fans have the, some entertainment anthems and songs mm -hmm. during the game. So what's your favorite one? Because one was like Melih Take Gigi here, some stuff like that, So, which is so lovely. So what, which one is your favorite? Uh, when the fans are singing our, our names, uh -huh. no, that's a beautiful moment because it's uh, they do it when they won, they, when the game is won, so they have time to uh, say thank you, let's say, to us, and it's a good moment because it means that uh, the crowd is enjoying enjoying it, and uh, of course I like when they sing my name, uh, but it's a it's a good moment, it's a moment that uh, you can celebrate uh, the result and a good day um, of uh, yes of a good result for the team. Okay, there are some words which are forbidden mm -hmm. and you will we will try to explain each other these words, okay? okay. <laughs> Would you want to start? Uh, sorry, okay. Okay, could you please turn it? Like this? Yeah, okay. right. Okay, who would you, would you want to start or would you want me to start? I start, so... Okay, yes. okay, you can just... Okay, right. Um, this is a typical touristic uh, place uh, of Istanbul. Sultan Ahmed? No, the um, district is uh, Old Pera. Um, it's very. Uh, uh, there is a lot of postcards. A lot of. Uh, it's one of the symbol of Istanbul on the sky Sil skyline. On the skyline, you can see it. No, Kulesi. No, something similar. Galata. Yes. What? Okay. Galata Kulesi Tower, right? <laughs> okay, that's your turn. Okay. Uh, he is from your country. Okay, he is doing something you do. I can't say that. Oh, that's so hard. No. That's, that's super challenging. Doesn't play basketball. No, he's doing a hobby of you. Uh, like oh, sketch, yeah, yeah. He's okay. sketching, but sketching. very okay. professional. Very professional. <laughs> very famous. Yeah, he's very famous. Leonardo da Vinci. No. Michelangelo. No. Donatello. I think he's from Milano. I think. Caravaggio. Yes. <laughs> Bravo. Okay, that's my turn. Oh, uh, maybe the, one of the most uh, iconic and famous um, uh, Italian. Um, that guy that, uh, oof, I cannot say this. Um, that guy who decide uh, uh, in the movies everything, the story of the movie. Like uh, the Italian. No, the Italian Spielberg, let's say. But he died, and this year is 10 years, uh, 100 years from his. Is he a director? Uh, yes, okay. but uh, I couldn't say this. <laughs> okay, I, I <laughs> and um, uh, this year I think is 100 years that he was born. Uh, you give La to Strada you? is a fer very famous uh, movie. Uh, Federico Fellini. Brava. Right? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hum. He's a basketball player. Okay, we didn't write it. Hum. 
okay, you are playing for Fenerbahce, but at the same time you are playing for Europe. national team. Yeah. Okay, he's I Italian. Think, yeah. It must be. He's <laughs> <laughs> playing so, now or? Um, uh, he is playing for NBA uh, right Gallinari. now. Yeah. <laughs> Gallo. Lodi is Lodi and Lodigiano are same. Yes, he's uh, where he's from. Because my friend is living there. Santanti okay. <laughs> okay, Ciao Gallo, he's watching us. <laughs> Ah, this is a very touristic um, uh, place in Italy, uh, very famous on the coast, uh, in South Italy, close to oh, Naples, uh, exactly that, co that coast, uh, but it's a little village. It's Do you lovely. think that I know that? <laughs> I don't know. Is it popular? Is it? Amalfi? It's very close. I it's know. Usually you go to either Amalfi or there. It's a little villa with um, all the houses on the on the mountain going straight down to the sea, like Amalfi. But what is the first? <laughs> P. 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 Uh, other than that, let me see. Positana, I know that. Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. He is a singer mm -hmm. uh, from your country. Okay, mm. he's not doing rock music. He's not no. doing. He's doing a is very popular music. Okay, yeah. he's an old singer. Giovanotti. Okay, there is the name of the song written, but I think I can sing the other part, right? Can you sing it? <laughs> yeah, sing yeah. song. Buongiorno Italia, gli spaghetti al dente. Toto Cotun. Yeah. <laughs> Also, How many Toto points Coutinho to my is watching us? <laughs> yeah, hi, Toto Coutinho. <laughs> okay, your turn. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> one of the few places that I visited, and I told you outside of Istanbul. You told me. I told I visit so, some places in so Turkey. Don't you met anything? In Turkey, outside of Istanbul. Ah, yes, Cappadocia. Cappadocia. Exactly. Okay, your turn. <laughs> Singer again. <laughs> okay, I think they are nearby to. Toto Coutinho's term. I am not sure, but maybe they are singing Felicita. Na, 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 na. Albano. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have Bravo, huge yes, knowledge, right? Me okay. okay, your turn. Oi, uh, this hmm, has an appetizer, uh, okay. let's say, Italian name. Okay. Um, Is it? Made with meat, raw meat. Okay. And, uh, Carpa yes, right? Well. Okay. Okay, this is something about basketball. Mm, if you if game's about to f over, you got the ball and you use it. So what is the term for that? If the game is over? Game's about to be over. Okay. Time you know, out. No, you got the ball. Okay. okay. You used it. I'm trying to Buzzer not beater. use it. Yes. Okay. Bravo. Okay. I think let's continue because I just oh. have one. Okay. Okay, so okay. you take this. I didn't see. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> okay. Uh, oof. This is a um, basketball concept. Mm, okay, it's not offense. And yes, brava. Yes, there is not. Uh, there is, or you can play zone defense or this defense. I think I saw that, man-to-man. -man. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> I saw uh, <laughs> but okay, I... I <laughs> was good, I, we tried to be <laughs> fair. <laughs> okay, this is a very Turkish thing. Mm. You may visit it. It's not cold. The opposite of cold. I can say that word. Uh, you can. Hot. Huh, okay. You go there if you want... Hamam. Yeah. Okay, Turkish bath, yeah. Uh, but you said hamam. hamam. <laughs> This, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and it's some Turkish. Uh, Would you want to have some uh, <laughs> plate, Turkish plate? I mean, this is Turkish food, but how to describe? <laughs> let me take a picture. I mean, uh, <laughs> let me Google it. Maybe, maybe if Donner, I no, 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 no. <laughs> maybe if I see it, I. Is it something that much hard? <laughs> Ah, I don't know the name. Okay, uh, how to say without <laughs> mm. uh, Turkish uh, appetizer? You can you you can eat it also aside with the uh, uh, meat, uh, especially with one kind of Coffee meat. No. no. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Give a look. Ah, okay. <laughs> confused. Yeah, okay. that's so hard to. 
Yeah, without potatoes. Without potato. <laughs> Congress, I don't know who, who is the MVP, but I think <laughs> you are the you, MVP. <laughs> with this miss, you won. <laughs> I'm sure they ask you this question a lot, but you are working with a legend. So I'm curious about what is your unforgettable memory with Coach Obradovic? Or a few words that he told you? Oof, good question. Um, no, for, for sure, uh, you remember titles, you remember also tough moments when, um, you know, he, with his leadership, he, he pushed you to the right direction also when. Um, it's tough to follow him because it looks like something very tough to do, but at the end of the day you try, you try, you try, you succeed. And there are some also private moments that we share that uh, I, I would like to let they say private. Uh, but of course, every, every time that he told me that he wants me to, to stay in Istanbul, and this is the third time that I signed with Fenerbahce, mm -hmm. that's a special moment for me that he means that um, he's happy about uh, what I give to the team. So. This is all about. Would you want to end off your career in Turkey? It's a possibility. I know. Yes, yes. I mean, in our life can happen. Everything can happen uh, year by year. But uh, why not? Why not really? And I have one last cliche question that I ask all of my guests. If Turkey were a movie genre, what would it be and why? Oh, <laughs> folk. It's a folk historical romance. <laughs> Why? Why does this Oh, because a lot of history, a lot of uh, culture, uh, a lot of something really uh, folk and typical. I mean, something that you can see really. I didn't visit all the world, but I think a lot of things are really only you can see in Turkey. So that's why it's a very um, charming place. And I, um, of course, I love it. Thank you so much for Thank joining. You. And we have a little memory to remind you because oh, I nice. know you're reading a lot so that's a little memory from me for you oh, <laughs> from a Turkish uh, oh, author English, yeah uh -huh. oh, nice what is about you'll see, oh, see. okay <laughs> yeah thank you very much grazie mille thank you.